Today, I'll be unboxing and reviewing Virgil Abloh's take on Skeletor. What's up, Collector fam? Barry back again with another unboxing video. But before we get to this video, I uh, do have a quick announcement for all the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles classics fans out there. This Saturday, April 1st, my store will be restocked on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Classics protective cases, finally. It's taken a while, um, but it's finally here. And just a reminder, this is for the Classics line, not for the Vintage line that came out in the 80s. Classics line is a little bit smaller. Just take note of that. If you're trying to purchase for the Vintage line, this won't fit. Also, for the Masters of the Universe fans, I'll be restocking these here pretty soon. I had to work with my, my manufacturer on sizing issues and quality issues, so uh, be expecting these mid to late May. And you'll be happy to know that I ordered a bunch of the deluxe sizes as well, so all of your deluxe Masters of the Universe Origins figures will be encased in our protective cases. Now on to our video. I know that it's been a while, I had to take care of some business, but I'm back with another unboxing video. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. If you like this type of content and you find it entertaining or informative, uh, please feel free to hit the like button at the end of this video. Um, comment down below what uh, kind of figures you collect. And uh, it would mean the world to me if you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. Today, I am unboxing Virgil Abloh's take on Skeletor. As in the previous videos for Virgil Abloh's Battle Cat and uh, Skelegod, I was kind of displeased with the plastic case that it came in. It was kind of flimsy. Um, it didn't have a lock on it. I don't believe that it is scratch proof because it came with a protect protective covering uh, when it came shipped. So I was pretty uh, upset about that. And if you're interested in checking out those videos that I did on Virgil Abloh's Battle Cat and Skelegod, they'll be right up here. Let's open this bad boy up. To save some time, I unboxed everything. As with the other figures, it came with this pretty cool backer card with the Masters of the Universe in graffiti embossed on the back, which is really cool. I really like that design. Um, I believe I said that before. And it also has this mini comic in the monochromatic tone. And this time, this little piece of artwork here, if you kind of look closely at it, it kind of looks like uh, Dennis Rodman. Am I right? Yeah, it looks like Dennis Rodman. And also you get the Certificate of Authenticity for Skeletor. First thoughts on Skeletor. I like the attention to detail, of course, uh, with the whole Masterverse line. For me, it's kind of up there with the Classics line. My only problem with this version of Skeletor is that it's the, the light color. Um, it's kind of like how some of y'all take your coffee with 10% coffee and 90% creamer. It doesn't give me the bad guy vibes because of the light color. I think it would have been better if he was just like dark, like the dark chocolate color, like how He-Man is. It's kind of like art. <laughs> uh, it's, it's very subjective. Some people like it, some people don't. I think I said that before. His Havoc staff is is really cool. Like if it, it's exactly the same as the Masterverse. Hold on. If you really think about it, it's exact. It's pretty much a spray painted or dyed version of the original uh, Masterverse version of Skeletor. I mean, that's all it is. The uh, Havoc staff is really cool. I like the, again, I like the attention to detail. Um, you can see inside the nasal cavity of this ram. I don't know if you can see it right there. And then you have this scepter. I don't know if this was given 
any type of name or anything like that. Uh, comment down below if you know the name of this wand, scepter, and it comes with two interchangeable hands as usual. It has the nice felt or soft goods cape, um, which I believe you could take off if you pop the head off. Oh, oops. I mean, overall, I am pretty pleased with this action figure. If you look very closely, you can see all the little stitchings and stuff like that on the fabric. Well, what's supposed to look like fabric and the leather belt. Everything looks really cool and up to par with the rest of the Masterverse line. Um, what I think would be really cool is if they did a Virgil Abloh Panthor in just like all black. Cool, but they haven't come out with the Panthor for the Masterverse line, so I doubt that that will come out. So that's Skeletor, uh, Virgil Abloh Skeletor. I think they called it her. Um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I am, I am a fan. I'm, I, I mean, I'm, I'm a fan of the Masterverse line as much as I do like the, the Classics line. But yeah, let me know what you think. And coming up on the next video, I'll be reviewing He-Man, which is the last of the Virgil Abloh Collector's line. So stay tuned for that. If you guys find this content entertaining and informative and, and you'd like to see me do more unboxing videos, uh, please feel free to like and subscribe and share this with your collector friends. Until then, I'll see you next time.